Hi, this is Stefan from Byte the Bytes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the debris simulation in Word Creator. Okay, so we click here the plus icon of the simulation layers and add the debris. Now you can see that debris is applied all on the terrain and it's already been simulated. Um, if we sh click here on show mask, you can see that all the terrain is affected, but we want to now just clear that mask and add some debris along these parts here only. Okay, now let's add a filter so you can see what's going to happen if I'm adding simulation filters like this. And now let's go to the debris and let's see what these sliders do. The iteration sliders actually lets you iterate. So this, this tells how long the simulation should run. Um, as you can see, the debris and the rocks are rolling down and they are going in between the erosion line, so it's physically totally correct. You can also increase the density, so you want you want more rocks to apply and to, to spawn on the terrain, you can just increase the density. And if you fill the entire terrain, you can see it even better. If I'm increasing the density, I can drop on a lot of rocks on the terrain. And doing the iteration, you can see that how they are um, yeah, how they're running down the hills, going in between the erosion lines, creating a really nice um, effect. Okay, um, let's switch back to the default values. Um, now you have these sliders here. They are, uh, these let you control what types of rocks should appear actually, or let's say what, um, yeah, the density of um, rock sizes. So this would mean like, um, if I'm removing this slider, the larger rocks uh, disappear um, and only the uh, very small rocks will appear now. So that, this, this lets you control how, ma how many of the specific rocks should actually um, be used on the terrain for the entire simulation. Um, let's reduce a little bit the density so we can see a few more things more clearly. Um, the simulation itself here lets you control the, um, how the simulation is performed. So delta means um, these are the movement steps uh, from one iteration to another. So if I'm having a high delta means it moves a larger value, a, a larger range from one step to another. The friction lets you control the friction of the um, debris, the acceleration of the debris here, and the collision balance that actually is um, deciding should they collide at all among each other or uh, not. If it's set to zero, they're not going to collide. If it's set to one, they are going to collide. So they might take a different direction one when they collide. The shape is interesting. So we have that um, procedural shape that you can see here. It's a procedural rock here in this case. It's simple. We have a, uh, we also support uh, procedural spheres. We have procedural plates. And of course you can load in your own textures. Um, let's say a shape like this or a shape like this, or a shape like this. So these are basically just um, height maps. So you could even use Word Creator to create a rock shape and use that shape to use for to be used for debris, um, for the debris simulation. Also interesting is the model. Um, if you choose model, you can then import a model. In this case, I'm going to import a Megascan model here. And um, yes, this model is being mapped two-dimensional. So when it's spawned, it's really rolling down a hill, and then um, it's map uh, it's mapped from top to from from top to bottom, and that that would be the result. And you can see World Creator also takes into account the texture of that model. So texturing is done as well, um, and you can um, further control the color by using that tint gradient here. So let's, for instance, quickly sample showing, um, let's select this one here and you get a different coloring pair, pair debris object. With color blending, you can control how much of that um, tint should be included. If you set this to zero, it's taking actually the um, default material of the, material, uh, of the terrain itself. But this is not just the only coloring option in World Creator. So what you could do is also like, adding a simple color material here. Let's choose, um, 
yeah, let's choose some black one here and use that debris now, drag and drop it on the color. And you can see that the debris is now colored using that coloring thing here. Okay, so let me just decrease a little bit um, the density so we can see because I'm going to show you also how to use textures for um, the debris as a material. So we're switching over to a texture, set the color here to white for the blending and choose a texture. You can see that now we have textured that debris here and we want to have more contour. So we're adding a normal map as well. And now we have normals applied as well to the debris. And in this case, what we also can do is mixing the material itself along with the uh, tint material here. So if you want to have, let's say, different coloring, depending on what location or, you know, we don't want to um, have the exact same coloring for, for the debris. So we can use the color blending option here, increase it. And now we would have a, a textured, different colored um, debris all over the terrain. We can adjust it a little bit. We could even use different, um, different um, um, gradients for them. So we get something different out of it. Okay. That's it actually for debris. Um, hope you enjoyed and um, make sure to check the other tutorial videos as well. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and stay safe.